today we are going to create a modern vision of walkable office squares and shopping plazas which have sprung to life just around the corner from an old tucked away university that has been educating the simtizens of global collaboration 2022 for centuries. Biggest thank you to Paradox Interactive for having me on this global collab and please be sure to check out everyone else who has worked on and will be working on this project. I will be putting their channels in the description below. To any newcomers to the channel, welcome. My name is Toady and I aim to make beautiful spaces in city skylines. For my regular crowd, stay tuned. I will bring your representation to life in this build. I've been saying for the last 2,300 hours of City Skylines playing, and I think I will continue to say for the rest of my City Skylines life, I am not an interchange master, but I did what I could here. And a little bit later on into the video, we will give a reason why these loops on and off of the highway are so large. But first, I wanted just to get this interchange in. I wanted to get these roads in so that we can dive right away into our offering to the global collaboration of 2022. This area here is where we are going to be focusing the majority of our time today. I did throw in this side road, mostly as an access point for those buildings where it like brings in the cargo and that sort of thing. I made it the vanilla, the new small vanilla four lane road that is probably my favorite addition in the most recent updates and DLCs is that vanilla small four lane road. Now we've got our tidy district lines. I'm going to follow the naming convention of the previous folks who were working on this city and I'm just going to name it after myself. We're going to be very explicit with what's going on here and it's just gonna be Toad. But before we get to building any of this new modern stuff, I'm just going to scooch over here a little bit closer to Skib's area. And I noticed that our city doesn't have any high school education. So I grabbed this Glendale High School from the workshop and we are going to tuck this bad boy right back here. Let's get rid of the menu and then do some work with the nodes and the building and I'm going to bring everything up, control H to that node. Let's do a little bit of landscaping magic to make this make more sense. We'll put a path in beside it so that the citizens can more easily walk to the high school and we can grab some of the trees and put the forest back. Look at that, we already have kids coming to school. I do see some vanilla bushes here and we need to decorate this place, but I wanted to get it down ASAP so that it would help us with our university build that we'll get to a little bit later in the video. But first, I want to come back over to Toad and get some roads in here and get some buildings happening. The roads that we have around the outside allow for vehicles, of course, but everything else that we put down here is going to be some sort of combination of these pedestrian only roads. I'm a fan of the cobblestone streets, so let's choose this one to be our main road. We'll have the, the main pedestrian road be one of the wider ones. You know, sometimes simple is the best route to take. Let's get rid of the trees in here. We will absolutely be adding in our own greenery and we need to add in the last of the water. Now we need to bring power down here. So I'm going to use these power lines and let's see where we can get it from. We might as well go right from the school. I'm gonna turn snapping off and we are going to place these along this road. This road I'm kind of picturing as like a country road, a back, a back road that I would take to get to my mom's who lives out in the boons. And I'm going to bring it all the way to there for now. Once we got power over here, I thought the next logical step was services, of course. So we have the area service building, cargo point, garbage point, fire, police, medical, and death care. This main strip here is where I really want to focus my detailing attention and beautification attention. So we're gonna start with this large glass roof plaza. And you know, I'm tempted to put it in twice. I'm tempted to go like that with it. Of course, it's going to give me different colors because I have chosen to put it down twice, but if I just keep placing it until it gives me the one that I want, I think we are good. Are these two the same color? Yes. 
if we look at these food truck things, they they cross the road too. That's cool. I love that. I am just so impressed with this update. So we'll plug those in there and then let's get some buildings happening down here. We are just going to use find it and I'm just going to use these like wall to wall filters to find what I want. Let's grab, are there any, let's do the four by four and see what we get. Yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. If we start plunking these in, it's so easy to want to do a pattern, right? With the way that the colors are, but let's try to avoid doing that the best that we can anyways. And I think that looks great. And then on the insides here, I'm going to use the offices. Again, I'm just gonna stick with the four by four. See what sort of shapes we can make happen in here. All right, as we let those become functional and get their people in there and working, let's head over back to that high school and get this place looking up to the standards of a city like this. A couple vanilla bush replacements later, some benches, even some graffiti back here and a place for the students to eat. And I would call that tidy. For my main pedestrian build, I wanted to create a place where few people lived, but many people came to enjoy the space. I remember my young adult trips to a place called Grand Bend here in Ontario, where during the rest of the year, you had maybe 3,000 people living there, but during the summer, it was closer to 30,000 people in the town. I wasn't necessarily going for the summer specific vibe, more so the feeling of a lively party town full of accepting people and good times. I wanted all of this built right next to the university, which I'm picturing has been around for maybe even centuries. The young crowd gets their education at this old overgrown, but still proud uni, then parties and lives the good life in the plazas across the way. Let's step out of this time-lapse while we make a couple changes to the overall like structure, I guess, of the university. We are going to change these roads that are around it to make them feel a little bit more like paths for the pedestrians, for the students, which means we're going to delete just that rock. And I feel like the university buildings itself, they kind of look a little, it looks a little empty right now. I'm going to add another wing on either side here like another dorm wing basically and I think that just adds a little bit more oomph to the university there's still quite a bit of work to do here to make it feel old to make it feel like it's been here forever tuck it back in and really add to that juxtaposition between the old university and the new fancy buildings where we can all walk around but first we are nine minutes into a toady ypq video it's time for a secret call to action gang we we are going to use these rocks to make this wacky trumpet make sense. If you're still here at this point in the video, your duty is to put the word rocks in the comments below in whatever language you would like to do so. And if that's your native tongue, that's cool. If your language that you want to use is emoji, you want to put some rock em emojis in the comments below, that's cool. Just get the word rocks down there in the comments below and I will know that you were here when this began. Now, what I'm going to be trying to accomplish here 
is to have like this giant rock formation be the reason that the builder people doobers had to build around such a like such a large loop right when in reality it's just my inability to make nice interchanges but hey i'm here to show you that you can make kind of wild wildly large interchanges still look good it just can involve designing a reason for them to be so large so let's see what we can do to make this interchange believable gang i think we've done a pretty good job here we've got some like mountainous rocks or whatever i tried to put a few around and we have these ones here put in by sanctum when he made the map so i feel like these are believable i feel like they belong overall this interchange is done we've done our intersection marking tool we've got rocks trees the little greenery bits that make the greenery happen and i now believe that that interchange had to be made that way let's get back over here and and before we get to kind of our finishing piece de resistance that's gonna be here, there are some general beautifications that are missing. You can tell there's trees and stuff that need to come in. So why don't we do a little bit more of our editing magic? From up here, it doesn't look like a whole lot has changed, but when we start zooming in, we start seeing the details. I've got some extra props happening. This park is looking pretty good with the grass decals and the trees, rocks, all of the pretty things. Just kind of as you cruise over this pedestrian area, you do see a lot of the little detail work that we've got in here. <laughs> we have a building on fire. Are we going to be able to see a firefighter come in and put it out? I think we are let's watch this happen yeah you get them boys oh that was very quick all right so they've <laughs> saved the day good job good job lads this area right here is where we are going to end up in just a second but first let's continue to go around and see the details i've put in as well as as we keep going we do see more graffiti popping up on some of these walls coming back here to the university i added a little bit of more detail back here and just one of the hotels from the seaside resorts pack i thought that it fit in pretty well with the university look and i i like the way that is tucked back in there so now if you have been a part of the community for a while you may know that we call community members we call our grouping the rectangle gang and my friends my my gang you guys need some representation don't you so i had this fountain of life and death in here that's gone that's boring it's out of here who does the vanilla stuff right instead i have downloaded this no idea what it's called let's get rid of these trees that i had in here as well and i think this is a little bit too big to be placed down as an actual building right but we can convert it into po and get it in here proper all right it's in and then we have the next parts of it so these are like little advertisements that you know what i don't think i'm going to use i think i'm going to keep it simple this however i think i think i am going to use it i'm going to place it down first we'll see how we feel about it because it's supposed to represent oh my goodness i just had an idea can you po this if I go back to this, can I PO this? Okay, let's actually PO this. So I'm just trying to get right on top to line it right up there. And then gang, watch this. If we go edit, I've installed the self-rotation module and that's it, isn't it? That's how those advertisements rotate. And I think the RPM of one is enough. And what I wanted to do from here was to get the rectangle gang representation, right? So if we type this in, this is the one that I think will look better. It's huge, don't worry, we're gonna make it smaller. Or we could do this one, but I like, I like this one. So we can also PO this, which how incredible is that? 
So let's get that right there. And I am going to bring it up here. I'm gonna make it so much more reasonable. And he's gonna just be kind of coming out of the middle there. And I also want this to rotate. So we go modules, self-rotation module, but I want it to be going the other way. And we get out of this and let's sit back here and like watch this for a second. How cool is that? How cool is that? So you're you're down here, you're just vibe and you see these little advertisements, you're just doing your thing, walking down the main street, you see the fairy lights and you just see the rectangle gang rotating in the distance. Let's finish up the area together. So I am going to take, we had this just to cover that in. This asset is lifted up a little bit, so I can't really do a whole bunch of decor here without it looking probably a bit strange. I could do probably some tables. They won't look too funky if I just put them down to the terrain. So grab them, props, do this, go to terrain height. They're gonna look just fine. And I am going to want at least one stain here, maybe more than one. Oh, and you know what? A trash bin as well, because otherwise it's just going to look like there's really not a lot going on here. Now, I think it is best with this area here to fill it in with some green space. I've already got these itty bitty juniper trees in my copy paste. I took them from the university area, so we will grab them, copy paste them along here. And then I, I use Move It for my forest brush style stuff. So I'm just going to grab a few of the trees that are from the palette that I know that we're using here and start to bring them over. So this is generally how I do my green areas. I'll bring my trees in usually largest to smallest. So let's bring a couple in here like so. And then I've got also these little vanilla trees here. And I have been using this pink, I think it's a cherry tree, isn't it? Just like one or two kind of dotted around as a little bit of hidden color, like so. Then I also have been using the Rohododendron Somatic Ultra Pizzazz-tastic Super Calibratic <laughs> Bush. <laughs> Get that in there. I've been using the big grass decal and I've been using this kind of uh, like large grass asset to raise the texture and have something going on in here. To finalize my build on this global collaboration 2022, I am going to take this toad park, I'm going to turn it into a PO, merge some vertices to just get the frog toad boy that's on top and add him to the two kind of main entrances of my pedestrian area. If you've watched this far into the video, I'm guessing you've enjoyed the video and the build so far, so why not give the video a thumbs up? It has been an absolute pleasure getting to work alongside Paradox Interactive and the other creators with this city, so another thank you for having me join in on the fun. I think we did well explaining the large interchange with a bit of nature, and I'm happy with the details in the main build. During these flyovers, you should be able to spot plenty of props to set the stage as well as lots of decal and graffiti work to help the city feel lived in. I'm pleased with how our area turned out and I'm curious, would you attend this university and wander the plazas after class? Let me know in the comments below and if you have no opinion, just leave a little frog emoji. I'd love to see who's been watching the video and see some of your names in the comments. As we wrap things up, I invite you to subscribe to the channel for more City Skylines content. I have plenty of tutorials, challenges, and Let's Play style series. I have also been dabbling in live streaming here on YouTube, so subscribing is of course the best way to be notified of all of this. The next creator in this global collaboration is Slay3K, a brilliant builder and genuinely kind human being. I will have his video up on screen for you to click on next and gang, I hope to see you next time.